hello it's me again Oti from Oti's Cocina and I hope you're all anticipating spring the way that I am but before winter goes away I'm gonna make one more uh, you know comfort smoky spicy dish and today's dish is going to be Chigli Verde right Verde is Spanish for green and that tells you that it's basically green chili so no tomatoes nothing of those no dark red kidney beans nothing of that instead we're going to be using a lot of greens green peppers and white kidney beans okay the other thing that goes into this that makes it especially tangy and you know so sweet are the tomatillos so the tomatillos are the you know like green peppers that are in husks eh? i've used it for um, chicken before in the kitchen and today i'm going to be using it to make my chili yeah tomatillos are the main ingredients in salsa verde that's your green salsa but today we're going to be using it just to you know uh, combine and make a very sweet chili that we can have before the winter says bye bye to us so what are the ingredients that we're going to need we need the tomatillos the white kidney or the cannellini beans and we need our poblano peppers right so i already diced this poblanos i call them the dark skin beauties yeah of peppers see they are very very green uh huh. The other thing that we need will be your jalapenos, and this is my jalapeno. Then, in case the spiciness is not enough for you, which most times it, it's not for me, seeing from where I'm from, you can use your diced green chilies, right? So this I have already here. Uh, what else do we need? Lots of onions, a little bit of um, garlic paste, some cilantro for garnish, oregano, cumin, and some chicken um bouillon powder crushed red pepper black pepper and a veggie broth okay so normally you would want to put some kind of meat in chili but i'm not doing that what i'm using to you know give it some crunch and make it um have more protein is a uh, frica right so remember frica burgers amazing cousin so this is already pre-cooked Africa. I'm going to be adding it to the chili just to give it some texture. Okay, so let's go. It's really easy. You basically toss everything together, allow it to come to a slow simmer over about 25 minutes, and then it's good to go. Okay, I'm going to be serving uh, today's dish with some homemade blue corn bread. Okay, so really excited. Okay, it's done. See? Oh, so good. This tastes so good. And the frica gives it quite a bit of texture. And, you know, it has um, quite a bit of protein as well. So that serves as everything. I garnished with some cilantro. And I will be having this with my homemade blue cornmeal cornbread, right? So good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So, so good. So, I hope you like this. I hope you get to try it. You saw it was really simple. Just toss everything into the pot and allow it to slowly simmer for about 25 to 30 minutes. Yeah, for as long as you want until the liquid has reduced to the degree that you want it. Chili verde, green chili. So good, so delicious, so warming. So necessary for the winter. Okay? So. I'll see you in the kitchen next week. From my kitchen to yours, it's bon appétit.